In a world where hotels are nicer the higher they are above the ground, does that mean they get worse the lower you go? I don't think so. Your extremely handsome host will show you how to get there and what a hotel like this offers. That's a wrap. You killed that. That's the fire. Hey, that's the best intro I've ever made. All right, well, I gotta get a plane ticket. This place is in Arizona. I invited my friend Brad. This is gonna be so fun. I haven't hung out with Brad in such a long time. Now, there's a couple of things worth mentioning about this cave. It is over 200 feet underground. You get the entire cave to yourself. And, well, apparently it's haunted. I'm bringing my friend Brad, who cancels on me all the time and never hangs out with me, just so we can try and rekindle our friendship in a place where he can't escape me. I actually think Brad might have just bailed on me again. Brad sadly missed his flight, which meant it was just going to be you and me down there. I purposely got this car in an attempt to make Brad think I was awesome, but instead I drove to the cave looking like an idiot. It's okay, Brad. I'll just have to go in this cave by myself, because I'm tough and so handsome like a lone wolf. Anyway, I made it to the cave. Now to, now to go down. So I get inside my private elevator with my chauffeur who does not want to be recorded. Well, anyway, he let me know while we were midway down the elevator that that it's not working at, a, at full capacity. It's... I had, I had an elevator part coming in. It's not crucial to this thing stopping or being safe. Great. That's perfect. I hate to do this dramatic foreshadowing, but it, it wouldn't be so perfect later. Behold, the world's deepest hotel. Now this hotel is endless, and I have the entire cave to myself. This cave is so big that you can legitimately fit thousands of people in it, and it is over 200 feet underground. We have a lot to do. It honestly feels like my whole purpose of being here now is to make Brad feel like he really missed out. Look how much fun I'm having. Firstly, we need to figure out something to eat. This place has a menu to order food. I'm gonna order food down to my cave that's hundreds of feet underground. And eat it alone. God damn it, Brad. This cave hotel came equipped with an emergency phone that I can order food from whenever I want. Just like that, I ordered dinner. Brad's missing out big time. After coating my face with a thick layer of fried chicken grease, I decided it was time to get in my cave shower. I'm gonna wash myself. All right, I'll see you in a sec. That was fire. Now that I'm clean, time to explore. I stepped foot off the platform where I sleep and started walking around the cave. And this place was uncomfortably big. And every now and then I'd hear some weird noises. The f was that? Tell me what the f that was. Dude, this place is endless. I'm like lost. I'm not even kidding. I walked around for a couple hours, not because I wanted to, but because I couldn't find my way back to my bed. But while walking around, I stumbled across old emergency rations from the 60s. Food? I scavenged around these rations and I found an open can of 60 year old crackers. And let me tell you, I took a bite of history. Mm -mm. That's terrible. That tasted like absolute garbage. I walked around for hours and I still don't think I saw the entire cave. Just to put in perspective how large this thing is, but I did finally find my way back to my room. This place actually does have a lot more to offer than just exploring this giant cave. A lot of the cool stuff is actually here in the suite. This place was built to share with a lot of people. It had multiple large beds, couches, and an auditorium capable of fitting a big crowd. And on this stage is where things got a little less lonely. This right here, guys, is gonna be Brad 2.0. Me and Brad 2.0 right now are sitting in a concert hall that's located in my hotel cave, and I think it'd be bad if I didn't put on a little show for you, buddy. Now this one's about my feelings. So what that phone call was about, apparently there's a monsoon going on right now. And the power in here apparently could just cut out at any given moment. If that happens, I will be completely blind. I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face if the power went out. It would be the worst thing that could possibly happen. Pretty needless to say, but I was getting bored. So I ventured off into the main room where I found a record player. Said the train would never get there. Well, we'll see, Wolf. We'll see. I can cry. Come on, Brad. Look, I'm definitely not a big ghost guy, 
I don't usually believe all that stuff, but there is no denying that 200 feet underground, I keep hearing the weirdest noises. The dark, shadowy figure who calls himself. Wait, what the f is that? You hear that? Listen. Oh, f no. Anyway, back to Superman. So I was reading through all these books and I noticed this binder. What this binder is are the previous reviews of the people that have stayed here. And I'm curious to see if any of them have said anything about weird noises and ghosts. Paranormal Investigations. My team and I have investigated the caverns and bunker house three times. Listen for the chain link fence to shake, rocks moving, and the sounds of taps and bangs. If you can, stand in the bunker house. Do I get it? I can't see you? You don't gotta do that to me. Is this funny? I'm like not making that up. It like just keeps happening out of nowhere. I see here as well the YouTubers Kara and Nate came here. Love those people. But uh, speaking of other YouTubers, I'm trying to become the most subscribed to Tyler ever. And I don't see any Tylers out here going into caves and freaking themselves out for your entertainment. So if you want to help me become the most subscribed to Tyler on the face of the planet, go press that button and make my day. Get in early. I'm an investment. All right. What the f***? I'm about to watch probably the best movie you could possibly watch in a cave. I would make out with that guy. Watching movies in a cave is an absolute vibe. No disturbances besides those weird noises. That was of course until I got a phone call from upstairs. Well, the thing about this cave is that there's only one way down and only one way up and that's the elevator I came down But in. the also even funnier thing is that the elevator apparently is stuck. I'm actually trapped down here right now. I stared at the elevator shaft for like five minutes and then realized that, well, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I went back and did a little reflection before I went to bed. I'm definitely realizing down here that I really enjoy sharing experiences with people and not just having them by myself. This is such a cool experience and I feel like it would be 10,000 times cooler if I was sharing it with like my friends. This is definitely weird being down here by myself. I think it just means I'm a uh, extroverted whole and since this elevator is so old, they are not confident they'll be able to fix it by tomorrow morning when I have to leave. I actually don't know how I'm going to leave. Look, this cave hotel, is amazing. It's really good. Isn't that right, Brad? 2.0. So gosh darn cute the way you look at me. I'm about to catch some Z's. The power went out, I think. Since the power got knocked out, we can't see anything. This is what the situation would look like in Minecraft. I'm fucking blind. Brad 2.0, are you still there? So my boy just called me last night on this little phone and he told me that the elevator is broken. That's not good. That basically means no one can come down and I can't go up. But there is one way out and that's to climb the emergency chute that goes up the elevator shaft over 20 stories and hasn't been used in over a decade. Well, you, you coming? That wasn't really a question. You're definitely coming. Leaving this cave to say the least was an emotional roller coaster. I had to separate with Brad 2.0, and on my way to the elevator, I met the gentleman who would be helping me climb this emergency shaft. Oh, how long does this climb up? Really depends on if your legs and your lungs turn on you. <laughs> Let's climb, baby. Am I getting shot of me walking up? Yes, sir. Thank you, Tyler. I'm so scared of heights, I have to take like momentary pauses. See you guys at the top. I love you, Brad. And I forgive you. Even though that did suck.